What's up guys, back again. Joe makes it fresh. In this video, we'll be making an old school dish called Pizza Rustica. It's uh, a dish that's uh, presented out on Easter. It's like a, a, let's say a pie, I guess, with a mixture of different cheeses and meats. Uh, very, very good uh, Italian uh, recipe. So this recipe goes way back to my grandmother. Uh, this is her recipe. I've been following it for many years. I still have it in one of my files somewhere. Um, I'm gonna put it together here on this video and I'll show you how it's done. Let's go. The first step in this uh, recipe is making the dough. That's the probably the longest part because we have to put it in the fridge and uh, wait a little bit for it. So let's start making the dough. We're doing about 10 servings. So I'm gonna do about almost four cups of flour. Do two and a half tablespoons of olive oil. One egg, just like that. Teaspoon of kosher. Cut the butter like this. You don't want to throw the whole thing in one shot. It's better like this. We're gonna throw our butters in there like that. Boom, boom, boom. And we're gonna blend it up. Only do it on pulse, don't put it on high. Just pulse it up. Now I put it on low, and I'm gonna put five tablespoons of water in there. Just like that. Put down some plastic wrap, then we're gonna dump our mixture right onto here, form like a little ball. We're gonna wrap it, and we're gonna put it in the fridge for about an hour and a half, two hours or you can overnight it as well. So this is our uh, crust mixture here. We'll have the bottom base and we'll also have the top. All right, we're gonna wrap this up, put it in the fridge like I told you, just like that. Okay, for this next step, we're gonna start making our mixture while we got the dough in the fridge chilling out. Okay, now we're gonna dice up uh, the salami. This is uh, my prosciutto, all sliced up, ready to go. I got a little bit of sharp provolone. I'm probably gonna do about half of this. And then I'm gonna mix it with the regular provolone that we have here. Don't forget, you're gonna be dicing all this. You wanna make it look like this, the little pieces. And then we'll take a little about, uh, about this much of the pepperoni and we're gonna dice that up also. And then we'll take a little bit of the mozzarella and we're gonna slice that into cubes. All right. Okay, I went ahead and I uh, chopped everything up. So we got my pepperoni here. We got the salami. We got prosciutto, we have the provolone and the sharp provolone. We have the shredded mozzarella over here. We have a little uh, Romano cheese, Parmesan, ready to go. And we got the ricotta cheese and five eggs I've mixed up in here. All right, let's go and add our mixture to the bowl. We're gonna start out with about 18 ounces, about 18 to 19 ounces of ricotta cheese I'm gonna use for this mixture. We got about 20 ounces in there. Of record. Then we're gonna put uh, we're gonna put our pepperoni. Prosciutto. Salami. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit here. Just like that. Then we're gonna add our cheese and that in there. Romano I got. Nice and fresh. Mix this one up now a little bit. Cheese. Spoon of pepper. Spoon of salt. Oh, five eggs. Let's mix this all up. Looking like this right now when we're all mixed up. Now we're gonna have the spring foam pan here. We're gonna spray it up a little bit. Get the sides, the middle. And then we'll throw some flour in there. Just like so. And we're gonna go around like this. Let's get the sides. Boom, boom, boom. We're gonna be rolling out our dough on here because we're gonna put it into our spring foam pan. This is gonna be our bottom base and the sides. Okay, this is uh, what it should look like. We keep going around and pressing it down. 
just like this. What? It's not dead. It's like that. I'm gonna pour my base into here, and then we'll start doing the, the top layer. And let's get that going. Got that in there just like that. I press it down, make sure it's nice, no uh, spaces in there. Pat everything down with your hand, it's good to go. Now I'm gonna do the top. Yeah, just like that, be nice, gentle. Don't be using too much force over here. I think I hear my baby screaming in the background. <laughs> anyway, just like that. Don't worry about the sides because you're gonna trim all that off. Okay. Now we go like this. You can make little, uh, if you want to do little like designs in it, like a, like like a pie. You could do that, just like this. Boom, boom, boom. Very simple, nothing crazy. Alright, I'm not gonna slit this little mark right here, I'm just gonna open it up a little bit. And that's it, we're done. Pizza Rustica, I'm gonna put this in the oven, we got it set at 425, and that's about it. An hour in now, let's see what we're looking like. Oh, that looks nice. I forgot to tell you that I did a little egg wash on the top. That is looking great. I think we're just about done. This is the pizza rustica right here. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect. All right, this is the pizza rustica, my grandma's recipe. Look at that.